Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of the PFR Report. I'm Eric Carpenter, PFR operator. Alongside of me today I have Brady Rogers, location lead here, and we're in Atlanta, Indiana. One thing that we always get asked a lot here in PFR is about technology. And one thing mainly about planter technologies and what new things we're trying to implement each year and what we like and how they benefit us. So today, Brady, we're going to talk a little bit about Conceal. We'll start off with Conceal. Can you tell us a little bit about Conceal? Yeah, so originally, clear from way back when, we always had 2x2. Two 2x2 by two. Two by two was always an attachment that would run out in front of your planter and you'd put a band 2 inches over and 2 inches down of 28 or whatever you wanted to put in it. Some, some sort of nitrogen going into corn. Um, but just recently, you've probably seen our PFR data for 2x2x2. Two by two by two. So that came out five-ish years ago. And so we've seen huge benefits, as you've seen in our PFR book. I mean, it's 10, 15, 20 bushel gains even sometimes. Um, so what it is, it's putting nitrogen two inches over, two inches down, but on both sides of the row. So Conceal is made by Precision Planning. What made you pick Conceal? Conceal is, it's very compact. Um, it stays right, it has the split gauge wheel, so it stays right there on your planter. Um, it doesn't take up any more space than it has to. Um, turning on end rows and everything like that, you're not ever going to, I guess, run over the seed with the nitrogen. Um, I just like it mostly just because the compactness, I guess. It stays really tight on my planter, and I don't have to add anything that's really heavy. So the gauge wheels are obviously already existing, and it's actually cutting a little bit of weight, just splitting them. So obviously when we're out here planting our plots, we're putting anywhere from say five gallon to 30 gallon of 28 down two by two by two. Yeah. What What is delivering that two by two, that nitrogen to that system? So I'm running a Gen 3 2020, um, but the Gen 3 2020 basically runs my whole planter. Without it, I basically have nothing. Um, but I'm running the V-Apply HD modules. I'm running that in furrow and two by two. But the V-Apply HD modules, basically they sync up to my electric pumps on my planter and so I can tell my Gen 3, I want a 10 gallon rate um, two by two, and I want a five gallon rate in furrow. I'll just tell that in the cab in real time, and it'll do it. It'll change my um, electric pulses on my pump to calibrate for that, and it's dead on every single time. I'm running the V-Set two meters, um, also another precision planning product, but they're just, they're spot on. They really, really are. Um, I can change. Obviously, if they're not spot on, I have something wrong as far as vac pressure, um, pushing too many seeds in one cell plate or something like that. But um, I can dial, I can dial these meters in so good, and I can have picket fence cornrows every single day and beans. And that's also another thing that we're doing this year is we're going to do singulation study on beans. And so these meters are great for it. We're going to put a and it's a 56 cell plate. Six cell. We're gonna put a 56 cell plate and we're gonna go a little bit slower. We're gonna try singulating beans. And I think it'll put the meters to the test, but I, th I think they'll perform really well. Now Brady, in order to ensure that good seed placement, there's two things that need to happen. One, mm -hmm. a clean furrow, and two is ground contact. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so, um, so we have Delta Force on the planter. And for those of you that don't know about Delta Force, Delta Force is hydraulic downforce, um, I'm sure. A lot of people are running it these days. There's a lot of different systems out there. I love hydraulic downforce just because of how quick it is. Um, when you went, when you look at kind of stepping back a little bit further, um, back when we had Air Force, Air Force would change about every 27, anywhere, I think it's 22 to 27 feet. It would take a reading off your row units and it would change. It would add air, but it wasn't like, it wasn't instantaneous, I guess. Um, but Delta Force, it's changing about every, I think five foot, three three to five foot or something. It's something crazy. Um, it's just really, really quick. So I can, and it's it's per row basis. It's not across a whole plane or wide thing. I'm taking a reading of ground, ground contact on each and every single row, and I'm getting 99% ground, ground contact at any planning field condition, I guess. And then when you talked about row cleaners, um, so I'm running uh, clean sweep. It's a Martin bracket with a Martin wheel. I have the razor tooth. Some of you guys may run the spades. So the spades are actually for more of a no-till farmer. But with us being here, we run a lot of conventional till, so I run the shark tooth. All right, Brady. Now, probably the biggest question that we get asked here in PFR is which closing wheel and why? So I'm running the Yetter Poly Twisters. Um, I run the Poly Twisters just because they're kind of a hybrid wheel, as you'd call it. 
I like the hybrid wheel because, like I said before, we run a lot of conventional till here. Um, if I was running a lot of no-till and cover crops, um, I might change it a little bit, but they do pretty well in no-till here as well. Um, I think they're just a good across the, I guess, basis wheel to me. Um, everybody has their opinions and it all depends on when you're planting, how wet it is, what you're planting into, how clean the furrow is. There's so many different options with closing wheels, but there's also so many different scenarios that everyone's planting in. So this was just a wheel that I saw perform best here. So Bray, with all that being said, it's 2019. What's new for this year? What do you have out for us? So I'll grab this first things first. So we're pretty excited about this. Um, I know a lot of you guys are running high speed planters now. Um, high speed planters is, I think it's a way of the future. It's, it's something that you can do to maybe eliminate one planter and still go the exact same pace because most people are planting, uh, what, five mile an hour these days, five, six, and we're gonna run these up to 12 and a half and see how they do. I think a lot of guys right now are planting in that uh, eight, eight to 10 range miles per hour, but we're gonna really, this is speed two from precision planting. We're gonna put it to the test this year. Um, we're putting it on four studies. We're gonna do um, two for corn, two for beans. One of them's gonna be a closing wheel study. Um, I think a lot of people are running just your normal rubber closing wheels and high speed planters, but we wanna see what else works um what i guess what closing wheels really thrive in a high speed environment and then we're also going to do just a speed we want to see what the spacing's like um what's what's singulation like everything we're going to plan it fast and we're going to see how it emerges number two i'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen on twitter um we have lid lifts now lid lifts i'm using the same air compressor that i'm running with clean sweep and it's just tying into the cylinder that's going to lift my box lids with a push of a button. So for how many times we load, this is going to make it super nice. So all it is, I hit the button up. When I'm done loading, we'll just let all the boxes down. And it's as easy as that. Well, Brady, I think you pretty much showed us the real deal when it comes to planters. Yeah. From Brady Rogers and Eric Carpenter here in Atlanta, this has been another edition of PFR Report.